Hello everyone. In this lecture today, I'm going to talk to talk to you about neutralizing and non-neutralizing antibodies in detail. So basically, what are the differences between these two different types of antibodies? Okay. So um, before I talk about what are the differences between neutralizing and non-neutralizing antibody, I'm going to give you the brief background. So whenever there is infection, let's let's say that there is a virus. So let's say this is the virus. So whenever there is infection uh, by this virus or a bacteria or any other microorganism, pathogenic organism, so mm, of the host, yeah, so what happens? What happens then? Okay, whenever this virus is infecting the host cell, so host cell, so this is the host cell. So what happens is that our immune, immune cells, that is beta cells, they produce antibodies, okay? So antibodies are produced, antibodies are produced by B cells, okay? So B cells, they produce antibodies, okay? So this is, and whenever there is infection of, of the host cell, then our immune system, especially beta cells, they produce antibodies, B cells. So these antibodies, they, this, anti, this antibody is, is of course, uh, is, is, is contains okay, different, different antibodies, it's a mixture, and here the antibodies can be neutralizing antibody, so neutralizing antibody, neutralizing antibody, and it can also be non-neutralizing antibody. Okay, so non-neutralizing antibody. Okay, so non-neutralizing antibody. So neutralizing antibody and non-neutralizing antibody. Okay, so what what happens whenever the let's let's say that whenever the virus is infecting the host cell, our immune 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 cells, especially beta cells, they produce antibodies, and these antibodies it can be neutralizing antibody or non-neutralizing antibody. So the major difference between neutralizing and non-neutralizing antibody is that neutralizing antibody inhibits infectivity, whereas non-neutralizing antibody do not inhibit infectivity. Now I'll discuss what is infectivity. So uh, infectivity can be defined as, in case of virus, is the capacity of the virus to enter the host cell and use host cell resources to replicate and produce progeny virus, uh, progeny infectious virus particles, which may lead to the infection and subsequent disease in the human host. Okay, so uh, what is uh, this virus infectivity? So virus infectivity is the capacity of the virus. Let's say this is the virus. Okay, so this is the virus and let's say that this is the host cell. Okay, so this is the host cell. Okay, so this is host cell. So what is the infectivity of this virus then? The infectivity of this virus uh, can be defined as the ability of this virus to enter this host cell. First, the capacity of this virus to enter the host cells and after entering the host cell, the, the virus will replicate, okay, the, it will replicate inside the host cell, okay, so the replication of the virus will occur inside the host cell, okay, so the replication of the virus will occur inside the host cell and here it will replicate and produce progeny virus, okay, so produce progeny virus, okay, so this, these are the progeny virus, these are progeny virus which are infectious, progeny virus which are infectious and they may lead to the infection they may lead to the infection and subsequent disease in the human host so these lead to infection infection or the disease okay or disease in the host this is called infectivity okay so uh, what is infectivity infectivity is uh, is 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 defined as the capacity of the virus uh, to enter the host cell and use host cell resources to replicate, I mean basically replicate its genome and produce progeny virus, infectious virus particle which may lead to the infection and subsequent disease in the human host. This is infectivity. So uh, now I have talked about infectivity, then now I would I would like to talk about what what are neutralizing antibodies. So basically these neutralizing antibodies, what they do these antibodies not only bind to the virus, they bind in a manner that blocks infection, okay? So basically it blocks neutralizing antibody, they bind to the virus in a manner that blocks infection, so that neutralizes infection. So a neutralizing antibody might block interaction with the receptor, how? 
this neutralizing antibody it might block interaction with the receptor or it might bind to a viral capsid in a manner that inhibits uncoating of the genome okay so there are two, the mechanism of this neutralizing antibody is the, that it might block interaction with the receptor okay so when let's say this is the virus and when the neutralizing antibody has bound um, to this virus then it might block the interaction with the receptor one and also um, also uncoating of the genome uh, will also be blocked okay so only a small subset of the many antibodies uh, that bind the virus are capable of neutralization okay so only a very small subset of antibodies that bind a virus are capable of neutralization and those antibodies are called neutralizing antibody so after infection it can take some time for the host to produce highly effective neutralizing antibodies but these persist to protect against future encounters with the agent so basically after infection it takes some time for the host to produce highly effective neutralizing antibodies but when they are produced these these persist to protect against future encounters with the virus or or the causative agent so now i have talked about what are neutralizing antibody now here in this slide i'm going to talk about what are non neutralizing antibody the major difference between neutralizing and non neutralizing antibody is that non neutralizing antibody do not okay neutralizing antibody they 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 neutralize the infectivity they do not neutralize infectivity okay they do not neutralize okay they do not neutralize infectivity infectivity i have already covered what is infectivity so then what they do then these antibodies however they they are also produced after viral infection like the neutralizing antibodies okay so they are produced after viral infection and such antibodies what they do they bind specifically to the virus particles okay they bind specifically to the virus particle but they do not neutralize infectivity this is the major difference between non neutralizing and neutralizing antibody and however they may enhance infectivity because antibodies can interact with the receptors on macrophages so when these these non neutralizing antibodies they have bound to the to the virus particles and they may enhance they may enhance they may enhance infectivity because antibodies can interact with the receptor on on macrophages instead of neutralizing they may may enhance the infectivity okay and the virus the the entire virus antibody complex is brought into the cell so basically this this is brought in this is just a few extra things brought into the cell by the process which is called endocytosis and virus replication can then proceed virus replication proceeds um, because the 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 antibody does not block infective so basically uh, these uh, they do not neutralize the infectivity uh, do not block infectivity that's why uh, these uh, the virus replication can can proceed because why because these non neutralizing antibodies they do not block infectivity therefore the virus replication can proceed this pathway may allow entry into the cells which which normally do not bear specific virus receptors okay so this is another important point this pathway may allow entry into the cells which normally do not bear specific virus receptors so in summary non neutralizing antibodies they bind to the virus particles but they do not neutralize infectivity however neutralizing antibodies they bind to the virus particle and neutralize infectivity i hope this video was helpful thank you very much for your kind attention please consider subscribing our channel for more content like this thank you